Yo, what is up guys? I'm in my garage right now. As you can see, it's a freaking like Christmas tree right there. I'll show it to you guys. I'm in my garage, man, because I'm just trying to switch it up a little bit. Not trying to have the same backdrop in my room and stuff like I always do in my room. So I'm trying to get out and like do some uh do reviews and stuff any old where one time I might do one outside, but it's getting cold now because it's like we almost in December. It's really supposed to be really cold, but for some reason today it's, it's like soup. It's really cold because it's raining and stuff, but yeah, I'm just in my garage, man. But this freaking episode of Noragami was all over the place. It was completely rushed. Like, they didn't, they didn't slow down with anything. It's a lot of stuff that they skipped out on, man. Like, a lot of stuff. Like, for instance, one thing that was really big to me that they didn't put in there that was in the manga was you can um not you can act but Hiori her friend the one with the short hair the one the one that don't have the glasses her friend had got tickets to go to like some fake some fake Disneyland and like if you hear all that running around and stuff because I'm in my garage and the walls is thin so and soon as thin so yeah but um, yeah, my garage is right over the kitchen. You know, the kitchen give a lot of foot traffic. So she had had three tickets. So she was like, okay, I want to take you and the other friend and my other friend, Hillary's other friend, the girl with the glasses. And then the, she wanted to leave. She wanted to um, meet up with this boy that she had liked. So she had told Hiyori to go talk to the boy to get him to come to this uh, Disney, this fake Disneyland with us and tell him to bring two of his friends so y'all won't be like a third wheel and won't be feeling awkward and out of place and stuff just following us around and so it could be like some kind of triple date or something so she did and when she went there it was like this whole chapter just based on this and people might think, oh, that, that doesn't mean anything. That's just really, like, whack. Like, that's some kind of chapter I could just skip. But not really, no. You don't want to skip that chapter. Because in the chapter, once he starts to get to know the dude, one, the dude, one of the dude's friends, and they start hanging out and stuff, they start talking, they start going around having fun, eating the food that's there and all that, she actually starts to forget Yato and Yukine. So that becomes a big thing. Like she almost forgets him. That was really big to me, man, because I was like, wow. If you if if he already just forgets Yukine and Yato on her own, I don't think Yato can do anything to like give her that sense of, hey, I know you from when she remembered them. Like it would be very weird and stuff, but luckily she didn't. And how she did is at the end of the chapter, she was at like this pier. It was like the next day or something. She was at like this pier trying to remember. Like she kept saying, who are these like two people that I see vaguely in my mind that I don't quite know about? So then once she starts saying that, Yukine walks up on her and then starts talking to her. And then she looks at Yukine and she starts crying. She was like, oh, Yukine, I almost forgot you and stuff like that. And it's really freaking good, man. I don't know why they skipped that. They could have put that in this episode. would have slowed the episode down a lot. Like, a lot. And then they would have rushed through about five chapters at the 12-minute mark. That's what they did. They rushed through five chapters at the 12-minute mark, man. Half of the episode was completely rushed. The first half of the episode was pretty good, which I enjoyed. But, yeah, man, they just completely rushed through that. And another thing that happened... Was in the in the episode, Yato had met up with Nora. Like she had called him um, on his phone and stuff. I don't know how she did. It. She just did. It's like anime logic, man. Just get deal with it. Well, she had called him, and he had met up with her. Now, I'm I read the manga and stuff, but I'm not too far ahead from where they are now. But I'm gonna get way far ahead in the next come up, upcoming week. Or else the anime is gonna overlap me when I'm where I'm at where I'm at in the manga. But freaking she had uh, met up with him and when she attacked him and then he like and then in in um in the uh later half of the episode he started going around 
killing these killing these like murderers and stuff and junk. There's a couple uh there's like a good amount of a chapter before he actually goes around and starts um, killing these murderers that people want him to kill. And what happens is he wakes up in like this new house and he's like, oh my God, where am I at? Like, I don't even know where I'm at. And then he goes, oh, and he looks around a little bit more. He goes, oh, so I'm back in this guy for second place, which meaning he's already been there. So he's saying he's back in this place where uh, Nora keeps talking about father is like, Father is really glad that you're back. You and um, Father needs to get back together so we can be a good team again and stuff like that. It's really freaking weird. Like, I don't understand what Father, what Father they talking about. Who are they Father? Like, all of that is just stupid and weird, man. And then, like, um, Nora keeps trying to convince him to come back and work for, like, Father or whatever. She keeps saying it's some dude named Father. And it's like, it's like Yato's father, which I have a theory on that. And I'm going to say it real quick. I think Yato, because in some other chapters, spoiler ahead, spoiler, spoiler. If you don't want to get spoiled, skip ahead a little bit. But spoiler, I'm going to have to in order to explain. Um, Nora keeps talking about some guy named Father. Now, Father is supposed to be like this God or something that, that's in the verse that people know about, but they really don't know about. And... Yato is supposed to be the son of this dude named Father. Nora keeps calling him Father and stuff. And I think Yato, and they kept on um, like, at the, um, so, oh, it was in this, uh, my mind is just jumbling around and stuff. It was in, in this uh, episode when all the gods came together and they had that, uh, that big meeting and stuff and talking about, um, well, they ain't did that yet. I was about to spoil something, but no. Nah. That all the guys came together and they like supposed to be at this meeting or whatever. And like um freaking freaking Yato. I think Yato is supposed to be because I know it's, I'm rambling and stuff, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together and stuff, but Yato is supposed to be wishes, like a wish from a god in order to have a son. That's what's supposed to that's what, that's what I think Yato is because um, I think it was either Bishemo or Kazuma. One of them explained, or maybe it was Nora. It might have been Nora. But one of them explained that, no, it was Kofuku telling Hiori that if nobody still believed in Yato, he would disappear. And that had me thinking. I was like, why would Yato disappear and not reincarnate like the other gods? And... It's because Kofuku said, told Hiri that um, gods are, are, are born through people's wishes. So then I started to think, okay, if gods are born through people's wishes, then is Yato a birth through another god's wish in order to have a son? That's how come he, him and Nora keeps calling that dude father. Like, is that why? Like, hey, that's probably it, man. And so, yeah, that, like, I just... like. When I, that was one of my theories and stuff, and I just went on a rant about that, but it was really freaking good. I enjoyed that uh, that thought, and freaking this, this entire episode could have been could have been two episodes. Like, it really could have been two episodes, but they completely just blew through a lot of stuff that could have been drawn out into two episodes, but I think they're trying to, like, speed it up a little bit because they want to reach their... 12 episode, like, I think this second season is only a 12 episode season, which it shouldn't have been. It should be a longer season. It should be 24 episodes. Then, it wouldn't be as sped up as it is now, but it is. And that's how come they, we went through like five entire chapters and they left out stuff in this freaking episode, man. And one more thing they left out. They left out the Ibusu like stuff. And what I'm saying is, like, when, um, when one of the guys walking in there, his name is uh, Daikoku, Daikoku Ten. Daikoku Ten. He walks in there with Bishemon. and Ibn Su is laying in the bed and stuff. They left out a lot of stuff in that, man. Like, before then, it showed Bishemon and, um, and Kofuku and Daikoku Ten all meeting together for this summit that the gods are having. Because, and this is another spoiler. I got to spoil it. But the summit that the gods are having because... One of the guys are being a traitor 
and is practicing and like uh and like forbidden magic and trying to become a mage and is using phantoms as pets and all of the guys are all of the guys that's accusing Ibusu is saying that he's the one that's doing it because they found a letter of like um, an eyewitness account. I don't know if they said it was a human eyewitness account. I can't remember or a or a um, a Shinki's eyewitness account, but they did. And he like they um trying to find the dude and like it's just really it's really like. It's a whole lot going on that I want to say, but I can't because I don't want to spoil anything for y'all, man. But I recommend go read the manga. I'm going to keep reading the manga, man, because the anime is about to overlap me and stuff. So I need to keep reading and all that, man. But basically, all I got for this episode is they left out a lot of stuff. They sped through a lot of chapters, went through like five complete chapters through this whole entire episode, which you might go five chapters. It's not a lot. It is a lot when it's 45 pages a chapter. And they speed through five pages, so 45 times five. What is that? But it's like five chapters times 45 because one chapter is 45 panels. And it's like they sped through a lot of stuff that they could have slowed down, man. But this episode could have been split up into two episodes, but they jumbled it into one, which was really freaking bad on their part, I thought. But let me know what you think of the episode, man. Write in the comments, man. I'm Danny Awesome. Stay awesome. Be awesome. I'm out, man. Y'all have a wonderful day. I love your faces. Peace. One love. That's all I got.